ladies. Thanks for being here today. Today we are going to talk about how to tighten your belly. And I am not talking about crunches, sit-ups, or anything like that today. I've got a bunch of other tips. Some of them are immediate. Say you want to go out for dinner and you just want to feel better in a dress or a shirt. I'm going to give you something that can help immediately, but has long-term uh, effects as well. And then I'm going to give you some things to do consistently long-term that will help to tighten the belly. And let's just, let's just get into it. My name is Cynthia Williams. I am an integrative nutrition practitioner. I specialize in working with women 35 and older to help them understand the hormonal shifts and fluctuations that start to come our way after the age of 35 specifically, or more so after the age of 40, 45, etc. 46 can speak from personal experience that it is a little bit harder to hold on to things than it used to be in my 20s. But anyways, okay, so today I'm gonna give you some of the tips that I use personally to help tighten my belly um, and that you can use long-term as well. I know this is an issue for a lot of women, especially over the age of 45 as we start to get what is called menopause belly or hormone belly or estrogen belly, um, where we're storing that abdominal fat you're doing all the same exercises, you're eating the same amount of food, and yet you feel like you're still continuing to put on abdominal fat. And so I'm going to give you some things today that can help with that and make you feel better about your belly because at the end of the day, that's what we want, right? So first thing is these are, I have two quick fixes of sorts that can help, but done consistently and regularly and over long term do have long term effects but these are nice because you can see immediate results from them as well. The first thing is dry brushing. I love dry brushing. This is something I try to do every night before I get in the shower. I use this and you wanna work the dry brush towards your lymph nodes. We're trying to push fluid towards that and that in and of itself can make you look slimmer and thinner and less inflamed and less holding on to water. So doing dry brushing is a great, great way to do lymph massage and to get those immediate results. Um, you wanna dry brush down, both lymph massage and dry brush down the belly, like push towards the hips. That can help to push the fluid off and to make your stomach look flatter and feel better. And it also helps with digestion as well, pushing down and pushing on those muscles in the belly. It's like a little belly massage. So that brings me to my next one, which is a fascia and lip massage as well. I really like this tool that I'm using here because it's got the teeth on it. So it gets in there in the fascia and helps to break up that tissue. Fascia is what lays between the muscle and the skin. Basically it's some thin tissue and it can tend to get knotted up and tight and it can contribute to some muscle pain, but it can also make your skin not lay as nice as you would like to. So doing regular fascia massage can actually help the way that the skin looks, the integrity of the skin, and it can help your belly like this is one of those instant things by doing it um, can help your stomach look a little flatter initially because you're helped to pushing some of that fluid that's being held in that midsection down. Number three is fiber intake. This is probably the best thing that you can do if you want a flat belly, you want to get rid of the bloating, you want to just feel better is increasing your fiber. I have a whole video about fiber and its anti-aging benefits, its anti-inflammatory benefits, and its fat burning benefits. The more fiber that you eat, the flatter your belly will be because the better your digestion is going to be overall. So looking for a source of fiber in every one of your meals. So breakfast, it could be berries. Lunch, it could be some steamed broccoli. Dinner, it could be a nice salad. But finding ways to incorporate good sources of fiber throughout the day is huge, huge for having a flat belly and making you feel a ton better. Number four is water intake. As I was talking earlier, you know, we're doing the lip massage, trying to push fluid off of us. The more water that you actually consume, the less water you hold. So if you feel like you're holding a bunch of water in your belly, chug water. And I know it sounds counterintuitive, but it's not. The body will push off and hold less water the more water that you drink. 
the key here though is you've got to have some electrolytes in that water because the water water in of itself is not hydrating there has to be some sodium and potassium in the water in order for it to move through the cells and hydrate the cells so i always recommend for my clients to get about 100 ounces of water a day with one serving of electrolytes a day uh, i will link my favorite electrolytes below that don't spi spike blood sugar to incorporate daily to make sure that we are getting hydrated but properly hydrated to help flatten the belly increase digestion it will getting your water up will make a huge difference in your overall skin on your face everywhere so water is a big one as well to help reduce belly number five is compound movements okay crunches and sit-ups and stuff like that yeah they have a place but for true like abdominal strengthening and to have a nice flat belly and to maybe see some lines in your belly which is typically what women want some want a six-pack some don't but the, all women like to see some sort of definition in the abs and to see that you've got to do compound movements in the gym and what I mean by compound movements are like push-ups pull-ups squats lunges deadlifts things like that that are firing big big muscle groups all together to stabilize and perform the movement those types of things are going to work your core way more than any sit-up any crunch that you're doing in the gym so if you're doing 100 crunches a day trying to flatten out that belly shoot for push-ups shoot for pull-ups focus on your squats focus on lifting heavy weight and really challenging yourself in those movements and you will see a big big change in your core in your midsection. I hardly ever do ab work. I just focus on my compound movements and really pushing weight and stabilizing my core while I'm doing those movements. And that gives me some pretty defined and strong abs. Last but not least is steps. Okay, getting steps in throughout the day will contribute to a flat belly. And it will contribute to a fat butt, flat belly in several ways. One, if you're getting steps in, the chances are that you're likely moving after you eat, which will help with digestion and help reduce any bloating or food belly or anything like that that you might get after eating. Two, it's increasing your overall activity throughout the day, which is going to increase your calorie burn, which again is going to help reduce your belly. So focus on getting those steps in, especially after you eat. I always encourage my clients to find a way to get five to 10 minutes of movement. And I'm not saying you have to go for a walk, just get up and clean up the dishes or clean up something that's sitting there, get up and take a lap around the office, whatever it may be, just do something besides sitting right after you eat. And that will help a ton with digestion and helping your belly stay flat and you feeling a lot better versus stuffed inside your pants and your pants are tight after you go out for lunch um, at work one day. I do all of these all of the time regularly and I can say firsthand they do make a huge difference in my belly in my digestion which is the biggest thing right if we're having issues with our belly it's typically digestion we've got bloat we've got gas we've got things going on like that that are making our belly stick out or be uncomfortable or not feel as good as it should be so if we focus on these things to improve digestion doing the lymph massage the dry brushing the fascia release to help with the superficial tissues uh, in combination with your fiber and your water intake and doing the compound movements you will have a nice strong healthy flat belly so make sure you subscribe make sure you hit that like button i appreciate you being here have a great day bye